And there's puts and takes to this. Um, you know, it's a lot easier for analysts um, if we didn't have to come together every quarter and write reports and go through our models. But I would say, you know, a six-month lag in information and the company out on the road and whatnot actually could create more volatility. So I, I think there is different aspects to this that have to be uh, taken, taken a look at. Um, you know, it's difficult enough for people to get the numbers right on a quarterly basis, you know, for Apple iPhone. Think about six months and all the volatility and rumors and things that come out in the media. Tim, uh, your take on Apple now, it's not an expensive stock by traditional measures, but uh, it, it's had a run that I think a, a number of people could be a bit surprised by. What do you think is powering it from here? Is it the belief in this overall ecosystem and the strength of the services business, or is it expectations about the next round of iPhones? Oh, it's probably a combination of both. I think on the iPhone front, people were surprised by the number and are encouraged by the, the future product pipeline. But in general, people have been waiting a long time for the services business to start to catch up and create you know, a larger revenue stream. And if you want to look two, three, four years down the road, I think people are putting more pressure on the services business really than they are iPhone numbers. Brian, I want to go back to this discussion around uh, reporting less often and the possibility that creates more volatility. It also seems to me, if you look at what's performed well out of the most market cap, um, just this year alone in the stock market, it has been these companies like Apple, like Netflix, like Google, like Amazon, et cetera, that are not afraid to invest in these long-term projects, even if it means at the risk of profits at times to continue growing sales. Right. Yeah. I, I you know, one of the things you have to do is um, train the investor on your mindset and how you're going to invest. You know, Amazon has done that very, very well. And if, you're, if you haven't done that and you, you come out with some big, bold plan out of the blue, that surprises people and they don't like it. So, you know, part of it is up to management to really make sure and communicate to investors what their plan is. If they do that, they should be fine.